Assalamu alaikum. I figured I would try this out since I got a new phone and I wanted to see how it works on live. So feel free to come in. I know there's some people that had wanted uh, to see me go live, so we'll see how that works. Um, let me know who is here. Hi, Mahmoud. How are you? I got a new phone. Do I look okay? Do I look clear? Um, I don't know, like, if I should turn the phone over because of the glare. My glasses are kind of, like, glaring. So, uh, assalamu alaikum. Uh, there's John Sher, Abdul Rahman. Thanks for your comments. Let me know how everybody is doing. Assalamu alaikum, Ibrahim. And the Noor Ul Amin Harak. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm really bad at, like, saying Islamic names. But I wanted just to see how... My new phone works with live and see how it goes. Hi, Saif Ali Khan. Um, and I wanted to make sure like also like that it functions properly and if like things kind of get changed because like whenever there's a new phone, like like there's already so many things that are different. I was like, what the heck is this? Uh, Zakayam, thank you for asking. Sangaye to you, everybody. And Bukhair Ragli. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm good, Aisha. Um, like, can you see like my my flaws on my face? <laughs> yeah, who who is being Rayhan right now? Is this Pravin again? I don't know who which Rayhan this is. <laughs> which one is this mobile? This is my new iPhone X. Yay! <laughs> I've had like my last phone for like almost four years so like I was like really wanting a new phone and my husband got me one so I'm really happy so um, does anyone want to try joining me live um, if you do let me know um, I don't really have like a major agenda for today's session I just wanted to see how it went and like how it goes with a new phone and if anything kind of changes so I, I'm just starting. I have like a bunch of cards. Like I think I have like 60 cards of like different um, phrases and stuff. So actually I should go get those. I, let me grab them. It's so cold in Wisconsin today. It's like three degrees. So you're going to come with me while I go get my cards. Oh, Asad, you want to go live with me? But you don't even speak Pashto. But here, let me try uh, inviting you, Asad. Got my cards and then I'll go back in my room because like I've got a like space heater because like literally it's so freezing. Assalamu alaikum how are you? Wa alaikum assalam I am very good congratulations for new iPhone mobile. I know I'm so happy like he must really love me you know well he loves me I know that but I was like really excited I wanted this phone since it came out and so I've been patiently patiently waiting and um actually um someone else wanted to buy me an iPhone and I returned the money because I just like I had agreed at that point to marry my husband <laughs> like I don't want to get a gift from somebody else um so um I returned the money and I was gonna just buy it myself and then um my, then when I was saying I'm gonna buy this phone he's like no I want to buy it for you he's like this has to be for me he's like you know, and I'm thinking like now every time I touch my phone, I think of my husband. So, and I touch my phone so much, you know, I think like, like it becomes part of our own skin when we have um, our phone, you know, because like nobody can go without it. So uh, like it's even more important than our keys, you know? Yes, I know. Uh, I would like to share a small story on mobile. Uh, I was working. Sure. I, I was working with my colleagues, and one day I forget my mobile at my home. I told her that I forget my mobile at my home. Uh, she she crying. Oh, you forget my mobile? I'm like, yes, it's okay, not a problem. I can I can take when I go home. Uh, what she said? She said I can I can sleep without my husband, but I cannot sleep without my mobile. <gasps> oh. <laughs> I don't want to sleep without either. You know, I want both my husband and my phone, but like you also have to go with what's available. And my husband, unfortunately, lives in another country. So, inshallah, 
we can um, be together, living together soon. Okay. And then, uh, Mara, how much it costs in the USA? Uh, iPhone X. Um, the one I got, I think, was like one thousand one hundred and forty-nine. I think is what it like the cost of the phone itself. Plus, I got Apple Care. Plus, I got an iPhone case. Plus the tax so it's kind of expensive <laughs> mm. uh, on last month i i forget my mobile somewhere and i i buy a new mobile also in this month but i buy hello yes uh, you can what did you buy i don't know it's uh, by network problem maybe it's hangout no, what kind of phone did you get? Uh, oh, someone asked, where am I from? I'm from America. I live in the United States of America in a city called Pewaukee, which is like two and a half hours northwest of Chicago. Uh, I buy a Huawei P20 Lite. Okay. Uh, but I am very... I don't know what that is. But... <laughs> uh, uh, but I am waiting for Huawei P20 Pro. It's But I buy a P20 Lite. According Okay. But it's a good, it's a smartphone. Every smartphone is very good. Yeah. So, I, I wanted, like, I, I don't know how to work on anything other than an iPhone. You know, like, like Android, like, I'm like, how do I open it? How do I find the mail? Like, my husband's like, you just push on this. I'm like, okay. He, no, he'll say, like, push on the home button. I'm like, okay, which one is the home button? <laughs> you know, like, I'm so lost on Android system. So, like, I'm completely useless. I, I don't know how to get to apps. I don't even know how to like shut the stupid phone off or even open it. Yes. So like initially, everyone face a some kind of a problem when they are switching from an iPhone to a how Android or from Android user go to a iPhone user. But but as goes time, then he or she will be expert in doing a smartphone when he know everything. But it. First, is at initially said everyone face oh it's very difficult how to download my document how to go e emails but you know I had the very very first iPod when the iPod came out like the very like the really fat thick one they had like like the like you actually like turned the thing like pretty much yeah that was like the iPod that I had and then I had a second generation iPod so I've been like a hardcore Apple user for a long time, like, and, and Mac, like, um, I think I've been using Mac since 1997, 1998. Mm. So like, I have like an eMac, like the big thing. Where am I from originally? I'm from America. I was born in Los Angeles, California, in a, in a city called Glendale. It's a suburb of, Cali uh, of Los Angeles. Mm. So I'm completely and totally originally um, American. And my grandparents were also born here. And my great grandparents were also born in America. You have to go back to my great, great, great grandparents before you get to the people that actually immigrated to America. Mm. So interesting. Uh, Mara, do you know uh, now Huawei introduced three cameras at the back side of on Huawei P20 Pro? Three cameras. Wow, fancy. I just want my phone to work. That's why I like Apple because I don't have to think about it. <laughs> like the apps aren't going to like have big problems because like they go through rigorous testing before Apple will approve them. You know, like I don't mind paying for apps. I don't mind paying for music. I don't mind paying for anything. Like legally that's what I, I think we have an obligation to pay for them. But like, like, I just want it to work. When I need to do something, I need for it to work. Mm -hmm. That like I, I got a Surface Pro like a year and a half ago and I hate it. Like I cannot use a, a Windows PC to save my life. You know, like I, I like literally never use it unless I absolutely have to like write a contract or something, then I will use it. Mm -hmm. Um Myra sister, you are a funny person because you are Ismail? Smile, maybe. Ismail. Maybe smile. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. I smile a lot. It's hard for me not to smile. So, uh, like, Mara, could you tell I'm us? Either smiling or I'm crying. There's like no in between. <laughs> yes. Was that what you're going to say? <laughs> uh, 
it's very it's, it's very uh, difficult to identify when will be mara will be laugh and one day after she is crying i watch this video yeah. and somebody is doing humanity and thing this is blah blah blah, yeah. blah. okay mara could yeah. you okay mara could you tell us uh, now from your uh, iphone x what from my iphone x uh what do you have a plan to do for betterment of people how could you use it iphone in a better way to help the humanity and go facebook live and help the people well i definitely yeah. keep planning to doing facebook live actually i'm going to be starting a new show uh, a weekly show to learn arabic so it'll be like you know how i do like my pashto videos it's going to be learn arabic with mara you know and um dr uh, shan patel Um uh, I think uh he's Sean Arp on um like if you look for like the name his name is Sean Arp um I, no yeah it's Sean Arp um he's going to be teaching me he's Pakistani but he was born in Abu Dhabi and so he's going to be teaching me Arabic starting with the ABCs so um I will be using it for that that will be a weekly thing um I also, you know, am doing the revert um dawa or the revert Quran study. Um and so like if anyone knows any converts or reverts that speak English, let me know and I'm happy to have them join. We'll send them a free Quran so that they can study along with us. Um wherever in the world that they are, as long as they speak English and they are genuinely a revert Oh, and then that's good. Uh, do you, is the you are uh, revert our uh, Quran learning class? Is is it online or you are taking in a class? No, nope, we do it online. So we we use the Zoom, and we we don't post that online because we want to give people anonymity and privacy when they're learning about Quran. Um, and we want it to be like exclusive just to reverts or like if someone's like really really thinking about becoming a Muslim. I would open it to them as well um uh, because I think that when they see the message from Allah you know then they'll be inspired you know so and it's really neat cuz the first hour we're reading the Quran and then we're going through commentary and then we go ahead and then um have a discussion through each page so that way we're like if there's areas that we're not quite clear on we can clarify and that we do have um a born muslim person that kind of gives us some direction So if we get stuck, you know, normally it's most of just the reverts and we're talking amongst each other. You know, well this is how I took it or this is the way I kind of see it. And then we we then look to our mentor to kind of clarify, you know, is our thinking on the right path? And she'll say, you know, this is how it was intended. Um but um you guys all had really great ideas. So then after the first hour, I'll answer your guys' questions and comments in just a minute. Um after we do through that then we go through a a book called the vision of islam and that is more of a um practical like taking islam practically to implement in your life and then like we've never had time to get to the book about the prophet but we also like um privately have a book called um I I I gave my copy to another person so they'd have a hard copy and I've been reading it online. Um so we read like a chapter per week um about our prophet so that way we grow in closeness and love for our prophet peace be upon him. Mm-hmm. So like that's what the the that is. So I'll use my phone for that and then what else um do I plan to use it for? Um of course I'll use it for my learn pashto with Mara. you guys be my teacher um and then i don't know how else i'll use it i'm sure i'll find plenty of ways uh, so do you know why i ask this this question because there is a very first tradition in the book of uh, in the tradition of the holy prophet muhammad whenever you buy something you make a good intentions make a good good intention why you buy this and how do you utilize it if you make a good intention in your mind just like you mentioned it's excellent it's fabulous and now it will be na beneficial for you as well that's why i ask i ask at this question and do you know the most beautiful month is very com- coming soon i know see like 
I know that like born Muslims get really excited, but to be quite honest, I get really sad at Ramadan. I don't really like Ramadan. For me, it's a very lonely, sad month. You know, it's like the month that all the born Muslims are having celebrations. So they're all in their social groups. And then like, I feel like the Reavers kind of get like left behind. That's how I feel. Like, I don't know that that's the intention, but like, I don't have Muslim family, you know, like I think Ramadan is much more special when you have your loved ones around you and are celebrating it with them. But my kids aren't Muslim. My mom isn't Muslim. Nobody here in the United States in my family is Muslim. So for me, it's really sad, you know? So I don't want to, <laughs> let's change the topic. I know that like most people love it. Yes. Let me answer a couple of questions that um, came up. Anurella, um, have I ever been to Pakistan or Afghanistan? I have been to Pakistan twice. I was just there actually in March and April um, when I, I, I went for my niqab. Um, and that will answer, I believe, your second question is if my name is originally Mara Khan. Um, my original name has changed a long, long time ago when I first got married when I was 19 years old. Um, and so then I took my ex-husband's last name. And then when I divorced him, I kept it until I married again. Um, and I married someone with the last name of Ahmed. So my name technically still is legally Tamara Ahmed. And I'm in the process of getting it legally changed to Mara Khan um, because my current husband's last name is Khan. So um, that's how my name is. Uh, Nurola asks, um, huh, you don't reply uh, me, huh? I'll buy an iPhone soon, huh? I'll ignore you then, huh? <laughs> Oh, my dear brother, I've been busy and like, actually, I had to wait for a long time for my phone to be loading everything. Like Facebook was like slow to load, like WhatsApp literally like took an hour and a half to like open. So and then like my husband called. So um, there was also a couple of really important messages. So if people in the room can be praying, I have a friend whose daughter uh, just caught typhoid. So be praying for my friend's daughter. Um, like that's something that isn't really very common in America. So, uh huh. Your oh, yes. My mom, my my mom is Muslim because Nurala is um um my brother. So our mom, you know, is Muslim. But like the the person that gave birth to me is not Muslim, you know. And and my Islamic family is in Pakistan and Saudi Arabia. So therefore, I, I, I'm in the United States without any of my Muslim family with me. I also have a Muslim husband, but he's also in another country. So um, I, I didn't mean to discount my Islamic mom <laughs> at all. Uh, so <laughs> No problem. Your husband, will, your husband will join you soon, very soon. I... It'll be a while. It'll be a while because I, I can't even apply for him yet. Um, I, inshallah, will be going to Japan in uh, July. Um, I also have like a lot of things like I have to move um, here in America. I have to go to a new place. Uh, so I have to pack up my home and try to find another location and move before I can go. And so I have to be out of here by June 30th. And then after that, inshallah, then I will be going to Japan for maybe a month, hopefully, inshallah. And I will, inshallah, take my kids. And then hopefully after that, then I will bring them back to the U.S. And then I will fly back to wherever my husband is for another month, inshallah. That's good. That's good. Mara, could you, could you tell us, I, I learned from your post, you are going to open a school. That is good. Could you tell us about something? No. Oh, this it already opened. It opened, I believe, on April 23rd. Um, but we're looking to open a second school. Um, we had um, someone ask in a particular region um, to open a, a second school because there's like desperate need in the Mansara region for um, education. Um, and um, the people, the, the, there's so many kids that are living or are, are on the streets and we're trying to get them off of the streets and into something productive where they can learn. Um, and so we're trying to get enough funds to, like the first school is fully funded. Like we have the funds for full year but for a second school, we need help. So that's why I went ahead and made that post. So inshallah, we'll get to that point for that. So those are some of the things that we're doing. Yes, of course. Uh, and then, and then, oh wait, and then I was talking, like my husband saw my post. And so he's like, we need to do another one. So inshallah down the road, 
will also be looking to do one in Shangla. Wow. So you are you are doing very <laughs> So yeah, it's 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 a it's it's what could I say? It's a very amazing work which you are doing. Acha, Mara, when you are going to start a Arabic classic, and I think it must be online. I am also interested to learn Arabic. That will be starting, I believe, next Tuesday. Um, it will be, but it's gonna be re- well. Your time, it will be okay because you're in like Germany, right? No, in Belgium. So like, I, I'm huh? I'm in Belgium. Wait, wait, no, it's going to be bad time for you. Really bad time for you. Because I think that we're going to do it at um, 7 o'clock my time, 8 o'clock his time. So, like, how many hours ahead? What time is it your time now? Uh, it's it's now at 12 a.m. It's 12 a.m.? Yeah. Okay, what time is it my time? What time is it in Pakistan? Can someone give me Pakistan time? <laughs> Uh, but I cannot, I, I cannot see time. Uh, let me check. I can't see time either. If someone can put in comments what time it is in Pakistan, I can figure out what my time is in America. Ah, uh, it's a three uh, from from my country. It's a three hour three hour difference between Pakistan and Belgium time. So it's three o'clock Pakistan. Uh, it's three a.m. Pakistan time. Uh, let me check. I'm checking now. Uh, it's okay. It's two sixteen a.m. Pakistan time. So it is 4.16 p.m. 4, and it's midnight there, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So you are eight hours ahead of me. Eight hours ahead of me, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning your time. Mm. That's really bad. But it will be done live, and so then you can watch it the next morning, oh. you know, or the next day. That's good. And it will be a daily class or weekly or Weekly, once a week. But but I guess it must be a three days in a week, day after day. So, well, like so, uh, like, I I would like to suggest. But if we do it once a week, then like we he says that like after we learn the alphabet, like we should be able to like be able to do it. Uh, we should be able to like know Arabic within three months. That's what he told me. So, um, I'm excited to see how that goes. Um. And, and he based it off of one day a week. So we will see. But if you think about it, if you if you do the studies, you take the lesson, you apply it for a week, then you can um, like take the, like be practicing for a week and then you bring all that back and are prepared for the next week. Plus, I also have my dad who he's right now uh, at Umrah and he's praying for me. And I hope that his trip is so good. I love him so much. Um, he said that when he comes back from Umrah, I'm like going to get emotional. Oh, he's going to give me Islamic studies. You know, he's going to help me like learn about Islam. So I'm really, really excited for that. So mm. that's good. That's good. <laughs> that's good. I talked to him the other day, and then like I like had that like realization like this is my dad. You know, I'm like oh, I I can't even talk about it. You know, it's like, I, I, I don't, I didn't have a dad, you know, like my dad was never in my life. So to like have someone that I can consider my dad, it's like a big deal to me. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, and Mara, how is my Pakistan you visited last month? How, how would you feel? How could you, could you express your love? How you feel the people and all over the country, especially your family is as well. Uh, obviously it will be a happy moment for you because you, you made a historical moment of your life. So could you share us some beautiful moment, what you have to observe, something more interesting? Um, like, Pakistan is Pakistan. Like, like, I don't think that you can explain Pakistan until you experience Pakistan. You know, like, Pakistan is more than just a place. It's a feeling. You know, like, when you're in Pakistan, like, you feel like, you feel like such a like love like everyone is so hospitable and welcoming and genuine and sincere you know and um they just want to see your happiness like obviously when i cry i was like don't cry don't cry it's okay sister don't do that you know even if it's not a bad cry like it's a happy cry but like they're just so caring and nurturing oh can i get you some water can i get you some tea would you like a cold drink would you like this here have a sandwich you know like everyone is so so hospitable and um like 
I had such an amazing experience and, and it, it was just like the first experience, you know, like I, I was able to spend time with Takwa and her family and, and they're like true family to me too, you know, and like, I, like I think about these things and then I get emotional and, and, and then of course, you know, I got to see my husband, you know, and I went and I got married. And so that was like a big moment of my life. And then I spent time like with the Mufti's wife, you know, the Mufti that performed our nikah. I spent a couple of days with her and her family. And like, like these relationships are so precious, you know, like genuinely, like how can you, how can you like put into words like that kind of feeling, a feeling is so hard to express, you know, like you feel it. So you have to experience it for sure. Assalamu alaikum, Mahmoud. <laughs> now that I know who Rehan is right now. <laughs> so, uh, Mara, did you... Uh, see, either I'm smiling or I'm crying, <laughs> or some mixture of the two. <laughs> Mara, have you seen any donkey in Pakistan? Oh, yeah, there was donkeys and camels. Like, you're driving with donkeys. So, like, you're driving down the road. There's, like, a little donkey cart. Um there's camels walking down the street. Did you, I actually had pictures of them. Did you get the experience to touch the donkey or to love the donkey? I No, because they were always moving, you know, like they weren't on the side of the road. I did go up to the camels, though, and like then there was like, a, like a, a flock of sheep that were walking that were spray painted with like pink on them. And so like, like, my, like my husband had to go into work. And so I was sitting in the car and I saw like this big flock of sheep. There was like 20 sheep. I was like, where is this coming from? Like, this is on jail road in Lahore. So it's not like it's a little road. It's like a really busy road. And they're like a flock of sheep like jumping out of the car so I can take pictures because my daughter, she's like, bring me home a goat. <laughs> not because she wants to eat it, but because she just wants to play with a goat. And so like, I had to take pictures of the sheep because they were so cute. They're like all white and fluffy with like little pink spray paint on them. So yeah. Ah, uh, what things you buy from Pakistan? What things you bring? Um, the only thing I didn't really buy anything for me. Um, I bought for everybody else. Like I had a lot of friends that they wanted this dress or that dress. Um, and like one of my friends wanted like a dress that was really hard to find. So I ended up, um, uh, buying all the material and then taking like a picture of the, to the tailor and had it like made for her. Um, I bought a lot of scarves for people, um, hijabs. I bought, let's see, what else did I buy? I did steal my husband's iron because his iron is better than my iron. Now I just need to get a converter so I can have, like plug it into the power because I don't have the right adapter. But his iron is like a thousand times better than American iron. So, um, that I took for me. Oh. I'm trying to think what, uh, I did buy, um, some cord for my my uh shawar you know like the cord for like because like like the old ones like had like just like a piece of fabric that was used as the cord so i needed cord um i also got a tool for like threading the cord through what else did i get oh my husband got me a quran cover that was my wedding present and then um he got me an electronic quran so like like a little pen i feel like a little kid when i use it because it's like one of those like tag books you know but like you can click on any word and it'll say it in like whatever language you have it on i can have it in urdu english uh arabic you know uh, chinese i think japanese um let's see what else um did i get um oh he got me also this little counter. Actually, he didn't buy it for, like, he was going to buy it for me, but the the shop owner said, oh, she's a revert. No, I want to give it to her. Oh. Yeah, so that was free. See, like, even the store owners there, like, like were so nice to me. That is, I don't know. That it's is... like this little counter thing that I put on my finger, and then I, like, what do I say? Astaghfirullah, 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 astaghfirullah. <laughs> Sometimes like I go to like three, four thousand. <laughs> it's it's a counting, so. it's a counting, it's a counting machine, not just like a. Uh, can you tell the name of the company which you like a iron from Pakistan? Let me check which iron do you have. Which what? Which one? Which one company iron your husband give you, which is much be better than American iron? I don't know, like. It's still in my suitcase because I need to get the converter. 
and I'm lazy, so like I left it in the suitcase. Hold on. Oh. Because Let me get it. I am thinking maybe someone go to the Amazon and upload this kind of iron so every American can buy our iron and enjoy. Oh, here's the iron. Oh, like it has like this big thick cord on it, but like I have like a hundred and fifty dollar iron, and like this probably I don't know maybe costs like ten fifteen dollars. This is like a thousand times better than my Rowenta one. Oh. This one was like $150 when I bought it many, many years ago, uh, but I hate it. It's it, like, I always burn myself on it. And of course, when you wear shower kameez, everything has to be ironed. Like, so. Is there any name on, is there any company name on, uh, on the iron? Um, let me see. Annex. A-N-E-X. Oh, Annex. Let's see. Okay, that's good. Annex electric, electric automatic iron. Mm. Quality products. Annex quality products. But this works so much better than my iron. So same. I, I, I said, can I have same. can I have the iron? The iron is a very you know, a memorable moment. My mother also gave me a last moment and go to bazaar and bring a iron for me because it's a. Very yeah. It's a very important element whenever you are going to a, out of a country because you need a iron cloth. So my mother at the last moment, he, she went for a shopping center and buy a annex iron for me. Me, I also, I have a same iron. Right. Uh, you have the same one, annex? Is it annex? Yeah, it's annex. Uh, Nurala asked, can he join the Arabic class? Sure, why not? I, like, it's all about learning. But I think you speak Arabic, so why would you need to join it? He can. He lives in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, he, he, he even he can he can join the native speaker of Arabic from Saudi Arabia during class. <laughs> so and then like my, I'm sure my dad will he'll teach me Arabic too, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. So, Mara, could you tell us something? The moment when the scholar come, you are wedding, uh, wedding nikah ceremony. Somebody come the to, mufti? yeah, mufti. Do you say kabul, kabul, kabul? No, I said yes, yes, yes. Oh, there's <laughs> how many times? <laughs> Three. Three times. But wow. I signed four times. I had to sign four times, but I had to say yes three times. Acha, you you wearing a dupat in a traditional way or just like in a Western style? How 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 what what kind of a wearing you are wearing during that time? And you are feeling a just like a Pakistani girl or you are a Western girl? I I feel like me. Like I I I I'm not necessarily Pakistani girl and I'm not necessarily American girl. I'm Mara. Oh. You know, so I I I wore shalwar kameez because I I a lot of times wear shalwar kameez. I I would say. 80% of my clothes, shall wear kameez. So like, obviously you see me all the time in, in, in shall wear kameez. Um, I do have American dress and I think I took one American dress there. Um, so I wore like, it wasn't like traditional Pakistani. I did not wear red. I don't look good in red. Well, some people will disagree. They think that I look good in red because I have my hijab in my picture in red. Um, but I, I just don't feel comfortable in red too much so um i i wore like it was a pistachio green like a very light green um i don't know did i send you a picture of it my dress no no i'll send you a picture from my nikah so like not of my husband but of me um uh and uh, like i was with takwa takwa like her and her dad and mom and uncle and brother were like who I invited to the, the Nika and um, her uncle and her dad were my witnesses. So that was very, very special to me. That's good. That's good. I, I... It was just a Nika ceremony. It wasn't like a big wedding. It wasn't a big function. Um, like the male side had like Takwa's dad, Takwa's uncle, um, the Mufti and probably like eight or eight people from the Islamic Center. And then in my room uh, was me and Takwa's mom and brother and uh, Takwa. And then when the Mufti came in, um, Ahmed, 
or uh, um, Wahid, I'm sorry, Wahid came in and he was like taking pictures and he watched and he was kind of like explaining to me what, what the Mufti was saying because I, I wouldn't have known otherwise. And then I would just say, he's like, you would say this? And I'll, so I said, no, I'll say yes, because I wanted to understand what I'm saying, you know? So I thought that was more important for me to say it in the language I recognize. Yes, that's good. That's good. Yes, it doesn't matter. But the main thing you can understand, that's good. Mala, you have a very excellent thinking. You have a very positive, positive thinking, positive knowledge. And you are all thinking is just compatible with the Islamic knowledge, with the Islamic teachings. It's not of, uh, 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 contrary to Islamic teaching. Islamic teaching is the same which you are thinking. The same. It's same it should be a simple it should be a to understand it doesn't matter to say kabul kabul or to say yes yes it doesn't make any difference the important thing you understand the spirit spirit of anika the feelings right. feelings of anika but it was it was special to me so can we move to another topic <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sure, of course. Which topic you prefer? I, 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 because I am bachelor, I enjoy this topic very well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. Um, let's see. I am not able to understand this dude, what he's talking about. Um, he's asking me questions about, like, like, he knew that I went to Pakistan. So he's asking me about Pakistan, um, my trip to Pakistan. Um, Oh, one thing I did was I went to the zoo. That was a fun time. Um, and um, it was it was a really nice zoo. I was very impressed by it. And um, what other things? I don't know what else to talk about. Like, I'm not used to talking so much about me, you know? <laughs> Normally, like, I'm, like, learning, like, different things. But, like, how to, like, say things. Because I'm really about trying to learn. So, anyways... So, okay. I don't know what else to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I think now it's time to say goodbye. All right. Sounds like a plan. No problem. So thank you for joining me. Mm. What do I do for a living? I'm a registered nurse. So I, um, I take care of patients. I used to be the clinic coordinator for a free and charitable clinic. Um, and currently, like, I do private duty, blah, 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 private duty nursing, um, and uh, I, I have a patient um, uh, that's paralyzed, so I take care of him, and so that's what I do for it. Uh, let me quick hi, say hi to Ajmal. How is Norway, Ajmal? I miss you. It's so good to see you. I talked to your brother the other day. He was fantastic. Um, he was speaking fantastic English, and I know he's going to be taking another IELTS test. So inshallah, he will do very, very, very excellent on it. Mm. So, what uh, do you, you make a project for a uh, nursing for a Pakistan to give some nursing trips to Pakistani nurses? What? Uh, do what? Uh, do, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, advising you. You must make a, a Facebook live for a nursing profession. So Pakistani nursing, pro Pakistani nursing women can learn from you, from your profession. Uh, I observe you didn't do any live on your profession. Just one time when I was doing a first, first aid live, you mentioned each and everything, but I would like to say you must do a live in a, once a week for your, about your profession because in, in USA, you have a very advanced knowledge and advanced techniques about nursing field. I know, but like, like with that knowledge and like there's a humongous responsibility you know and liability so like i think like that's why nurses are like really careful to like share knowledge especially if they're not being like um paid for that knowledge because if we screw up we're we're, we're like liable for that information so like that's probably why um, I, I don't do like live events because it's like recorded and like, cause like, and you never want to give bad information. So like either I'd have to do a lot of research in order to create, um, a presentation to talk about a specific topic. Um, cause it's not something that you can just like go off of the seat of your pants and talk about, you know, like, um, and I take my career very, very seriously. 
So uh, someone's asking me, what is my favorite show? Um, to be quite honest, I don't watch TV at all. Like, never. <laughs> like, if my mom is here, she will watch TV and I'll sit sometimes in the same room as it. But really, I don't like TV at all. Um, I suppose, like, um, on occasion, I will, like, binge watch. Like, in one weekend, I'll watch the whole entire series of, like, Grey's Anatomy. Um, but beyond that, like, I really don't, like, watch that much TV. I, I used to, but now I don't watch really anything. Assalamu alaikum, like Homestad. Um, occasionally, I watch movies. Um, uh, a lot of times, like, in the theater, I'll go, like, for fun. Um, or I'll take my daughter um, to, like, see a movie. But for the most part, I don't watch too many movies either. I used to. I've watched, like, a, a ton of, like, Jesse movies, like, like a few years ago. But, um, I, and I'd go gone to the theater and saw a couple of them there. But I don't know. Like, I'm not, like, a big, big, big TV person. I'm on Facebook a lot. That's, like, I'm not on here too much. Um, what other things do I do? Um, I like cooking. Um, I, um, will go to different like volunteer functions. I like to volunteer. Um, I like to like participate in, um, like the Susan G. Coleman foundation is like a, for breast cancer. Um, and, and actually my clinic used to be a, a grantee from them. And so we would work to, um, uh, eliminate marginalization of like people from Southeast Asian cultures and, on, and also like other uh, subcultures that like Arabic people, like people that have boundaries based on uh, modesty issues because of their religion, based on their culture. So we try to overcome those by providing um, safe and culturally competent care for these individuals. Um, so we would only have female staff, like when we did even the education um, we would only have female providers to do the examinations. And so we just try to make for really, really good culturally competent care. Um, you're asking me if I'm a Democrat or a Republican. Um, I, I guess I would say that I'm independent. I think that um, if the candidate um, represents what I believe, then I would vote for them. Um, I would say that um, based on like today's politics, like right now I'm more of a Democrat, you know, um, but I mean, I don't think that all of the thinking of the Republican Party is bad. Um, I am conservative um, when it comes to um, certain issues. Um, but I also, you know, want um, a president or politician that's going to represent the needs of um, people of like my faith or um, uh, minorities, you know, um, and I think that there needs to be fairness. So mm. right now I would identify more as a Democrat. Uh, Mara, in USA, you select your president directly by the public, I think. No. No, we have what's called an electoral college that actually ends up selecting our president. Um, and actually, in the last election, um, the president did not win the popular election. He won the electoral college. So... Um, and this happens frequently. So um, Hillary Clinton did win the popular vote, meaning like actual people that voted. There was more people, more citizens of America that voted for Hillary Clinton. Um, but because it's based on the electoral uh, college, um, the president Trump was elected. But I don't really want to talk about President Trump. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, Namara, thank you for giving me a chance to talk to you, to ask you more and more about you. It's a good opportunity for me and it's very nice to talk to you because I like your thinking, I like you, I like your... <laughs> and even you are look like my mother, I, I, I always say it. And when you are married, I say, my Papa is coming. So it's good, nice to talk to you. Continue your Facebook, you. continue your Facebook live and give me a goodbye. All right. Bye. Thank Bye. You. No, I don't want to say goodbye, but I will say I love this. I love this. I love, I love Thank it. you for joining me. Thank you. I enjoyed having you. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Inshallah. Inshallah. Khuda hafiz. All right. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Um, I don't know who else is in the room. Um...
Does someone else want to join me before I close off? I can also close off. It doesn't matter. Um, just let me know um, in the comments if someone wants to join, then I'll quick bring someone else. Um, if not, then I'll go ahead and close off. I'll give you about a few seconds so it can go through. I know it takes a little bit of time in order for the comments to come through. Hello. I'm not seeing any feedback, so that tells me that you guys are cool with me leaving. So um, thank you so much for joining. It's been a pleasure talking to you all. Um, you guys got to actually learn a little bit more about me. Um, and inshallah, we will do this again soon. Um, I, I think maybe another time I'll do another Pashto lesson. Um, I just was actually coming on here to check out my new phone to see how it works. Public ones are mostly bad apples. I, I think it's unfair to like judge a whole um, group based on one or two bad individuals. Uh, I know there's a famous saying in Pakistan that not all five fingers are the same. So I think we should um, judge them based on their performance and as an individual and not generalize um, a whole group of people. So not all of them, but a few. Yeah, but just because there's a few bad ones doesn't mean that they're all bad. I, I've seen some really amazing Republicans that I respect so much. Um, and then I've also seen um, some really bad Democrats that I totally disrespected because like they weren't doing what they should have been doing. So um, you can't generalize a whole group of people. You know, people are like, oh, uh, if you had a bad experience with um, one Pakistani, you can't judge all five fingers are not the same. You know, that's what I've learned from Pakistanis. So anyways. But thank you so much for joining me, everybody. If nobody wants to go live with me, then I'll go ahead and shut off. So I wish you guys all a fantastic night, or in your case, early, early morning if you're in Pakistan. Um, hi, Lynn. <laughs> I'm just actually going off, unless you want to come live for, with me for a minute. Um, uh, I'm happy to bring you on. Just let me know in a comment, and I can bring you if you want. Otherwise, I was going to sign off. Um, tell me what you want. I'll wait for an answer no matter what. <laughs> John McCain is a good one. So, um, did you want to come live with me, Lynn, or no? I'm waiting for your answer. I'm not going to go off until I get your answer, so I hope you're still in here. Uh, yes, do you want to go live? Okay, I'll bring you. I can't. What is up with your phone? Why won't it give me the option? You will come on. Like... It's not giving me the option to bring you. Is your is your Facebook updated? I know I will take Lynn. Lynn is like a very close friend of mine. She's one of my best friends. <laughs> so of course I would bring Lynn. Um, I don't know why why it's not letting me take you live. I know that you've gone live, so like I don't know why I can't bring you live. And I know like everything on my phone is up to date because everything got updated today. <laughs> Do you have the most current Facebook on your phone, Lynn? And anybody can be, like, while I'm waiting for Lynn's answers, anyone can be commenting, and I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Um, I wonder if there's another way that I can invite you. Huh. <laughs> Let's see. Guest request. Allow your viewers, allow your viewers to join to request you as a guest in your broadcast. Okay, is that on? No, it's on. Your viewers. I don't, my screen is so bad right now. Is it still bad? It might've been my hand was, my hand was like up here cause I was like trying to push things. Is it better now that <laughs> my hand's not in the way? I'm right handed and my camera's right now like turned on its side on, so can you see me now clearly? I was just trying to see if I could find a way to add Lynn in a different way. Okay, it's clear. Yeah, I think it was my my hand was like here while I was like doing something. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, hi, Lynn. It's still bad. Okay. Well, then why don't I just go ahead and close out this live since um, my screen is bad. Um, and you guys can't see me clearly. I don't know what I did. Um, oh, wait, Lynn, Lynn, I found you. Huh. And then Adil Adil had wanted to come too. So I'm a pro. 
Approve. Um, Here I am. Oh, wait, Lynn, Lynn. I can't uh, see there. you. That's the level I yeah, I don't know. Your screen was really oh, bad on Facebook. I don't know what it was. Um, is it I still bad? It no, I think I you're up to... now. You're up now. Okay. Hi. It's, I think that I just needed you to be with me. There we go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. How are you, my dear sister? You know, I, the day has been like all over, and I'm kind of just pondering now. I'm pondering of the joy of being with Takwa. And I'm pondering. <laughs> The gift of just hanging out with Takwa was the gift. And I think spiritually that was a really important moment today for me because I was talking about the torch and needing this practical, you know, application of getting this grounded enough to get it up and running. Right. You know? And so then Doesn't you... Doesn't become so fixated on one thing when what we yeah. really need is that connection, mm -hmm. you know, to recenter ourselves. And Takwa is so good mm -hmm. at that. <laughs> she got me going it was so fun happy mother's day to you happy mother's day too yeah to my kids are all like scattered all over trying to figure it out and then my daughter's coming home soon with 12 teenagers they're all going camping tonight with my other daughter okay so Wonderful. We've got big yeah it's good and then i'm going to meet karam so that's it. hopefully we'll give him we'll my salam <laughs> I know, I know. So I need, I have paper uh, paper due by midnight tonight. So it's kind of like, okay, what am I going to do first? Am I going to go tomorrow instead of today? You know, that yeah. type moment. Yeah. And also, like, he was just at the Consulate General um, on Monday or Tuesday, um, Karam. So, like, if you have questions about, like, your visa and stuff, ask him. Like, he's, he's, he's writing a letter. letter. He's writing a letter for me. To invite you to Pakistan? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, but like, there's like, like he would be able to answer like a lot more questions and stuff than, you know, like a t typical person. So you like, probably didn't hear what happened to me. No, I went no. on. Oh my gosh. It was so crazy. I went on and um, got in touch with a person. I'm not going to name names in Pakistan. And it really ended up being a very, um, <laughs> intense talk so I had to come back full circle but it was just kind of like you know Americans are really struggling uh, in Pakistan and I don't want you to come right now please wait for three months and going on and on and on and on and on but I got a lot of other advice after to say you're okay you know that is so untrue like I was just in Pakistan a month ago you yeah. know and everything was perfectly safe and perfectly fine so yeah. And I know, like, even, like, I, I'm sure, like, there's many people in this room that will attest that everything is safe and sound in Pakistan. If you're in <laughs> Pakistan and you feel that it is safe for Lynn to travel through Pakistan in the month of uh, July, please write a comment and, and assure her that it'll be okay. I know that, um, I know that it's going to be fine, you know, and, and. So, Lynn, do let me know if you need any help from my side. Welcome to Pakistan. So, Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I need you help with the website up so we can get the funding. For, so we're moving on the torch. It's very exciting because I, I just talked to Haji Khan, and he, uh -huh. I'm trying to get Takwa and I to ride a bike uh, with Haji Khan when we're there together. Okay, fantastic. So fantastic. I'm really excited for peace you know, to ride for peace. And then he said, why don't we get every country to ride for peace and we carry the flags, you know? And right. so I thought this was so beautiful. I think that's such a good idea. You so, know? I mean, you, you gave us a comment. Can, can you let us know if, if her safety will be okay in Pakistan? I mean, Shanglin. Thank you, Ayan. Thank you, Shanglin. I mean, thank you. Yeah, get me, get me moving. Inshallah. Like, I don't know. Um, can you let us know so if you will be safe in Pakistan? Uh, like, like I was there and my safety was never, ever bad or unsafe. Like, I went to the mall by myself. Um, like, we went to the zoo. No problem. We went to, like, big places like Minori, Pakistan. Um, we went to like all over, 
and it was very very I safe think, i think what was what was happening for this gentleman is that christian um the christian dialogue due to the political regimes between trump and pakistan there's a lot of um inner turmoil for many people i think there and so it's unfortunate my messaging is not anywhere close to that as far as a person so you know i just have to keep clear but um you know the mascot for the torch is happy feet tour so <laughs> we're but gonna... you'll be in shalwar kameez when you're there won't you <laughs> what you'll did you say funny dresses won't you well that's what i'm going to need to be yeah yeah <laughs> and i've been told i can't tell dates i can't tell people yeah so i don't know any you know then i have a new award it is a, a it is advisable not to give dates you know or location yeah. like you can say i'll be yeah. there in the month of july but don't say i'm going to be in islamabad from july 1st through july 7th you know and then i'm going to go yeah. to this city like don't say like that just say i'll be there in july you know and then you just like once you're there then you can be there and <laughs> i love a man's answer lynn i am the owner of pakistan no worries everything will be fine <laughs> <laughs> no worries at all everything will be fine he's the owner I of like pakistan i like it man good good awesome <laughs> all right you've got my hand man you've got my hand we're moving the hands we're moving the hands <laughs> i feel so blessed i'm like so excited because you know i'm almost done school i'm procrastinating a little bit but i i have a you know i have another 6 days before my papers are all due i have one paper due tonight but i have 6 days to get the rest done and it's just like this journey it's like the journey of the journey and i'm trusting that it's all going to manifest you know but it's just school is interesting i just talked to jamie spar about this and she's an amazing person and she met with me this morning she's pretty famous here in america and she's well known and she she's just she really touched base with me to say you just need a real lot of people to really jump on with you and she said two by two you know two people by two people by two people and it's definitely the image of of the torch four people to four people to four people and you know really helping in these four pillars people that want to jump on board and she said get the real practical thinkers because you'd think a very different way she said you it's okay to be you and think the way that you think spiritually she said you've got a really strong spiritual root so it was really beautiful hanging out with her today and it was really helpful and, and you know i try to be as grounded as i can but i'm not grounded in some of the thinkings of um you know that i just talked to ijaz he said just get your blogs get get all of the videos on the blog that's simple you know get all your well i don't know how to do that <laughs> you know? i don't like, know I, i'm yeah. so technologically not uh sound. yeah i'm not technologically sound so anyone that can sisters? help yes we are sisters help. by heart but not by blog yes 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 <laughs> she's my sister yes She's uh I have to be honest we are sisters in a very soul level because the team uh that we built with Rehan uh seems to be very very strong family root <laughs> it feels yeah. like family so we're family yeah. in our root yes um and who knows where that root came from but we're going to put it up to the mystery of god <laughs> yes there's a mystery of god that you can never know but you know you know there's a mystery of god you just can't you don't know we connect you know. on a different level you know so like exactly. we're definitely definitely exactly. sisters in a different way you know just not blood related but i'm not like a firm believer blah, 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 blah. i can't talk a firm believer in blood religion any or blood religion blood relation <laughs> anyway um both of my kids i've adopted so like they are my children um 100% but they weren't born from my blood they were born from my heart you know so there you go there you go Amen. If you're going yeah. to Pakistan in July, better to visit the northern part of Pakistan. Yes, everybody's told me. Everybody <laughs> you're told me. Die. Like I'm not kidding you. You're going to die in, in in the cities that you're going. Oh my god. It's going to be not very pleasant just so you know. <laughs> you know, if you're well, going at a different time, I might actually try to arrange to be there. You know like if you're going in like November maybe or... maybe we go in January maybe we go in January 
you know. January. But then you have to visit the, the more warmer areas. Like, don't go to my house in January. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because <laughs> in January, my house will be, like, covered in snow. <laughs> I love the snow. Uh, Mohammed, it's like our, me and um, Lynn ha are in the same profession. We are both registered nurses, but she's going to school to become a theologian. I am a theologian. I have or a she, master's uh, in theology. What, what is your degree in? It's in... It's uh, actually uh, to be ordained in the Christian church. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll be ordained in the presbytery. So okay. for me, uh, my ordination will be... Um, yeah, I, I don't call... I call myself a person of the world. So my theology is very wide and strong. And it because I grew up Christian, I kept that root. And Mara keeps teaching me about Muslim. So Islam. you just never know. Islam. <laughs> See, I don't know. Islam is and, a religion. Muslim is oh a Oh my person. gosh. You have you to You want to follow this. Islam. Don't follow Muslims. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Muslims are imperfect. You know, like Christians are sinners. But Christianity yeah. is beautiful and perfect. You know, just like Islam. Islam is beautiful and perfect. You know, but okay. Muslims are good, but imperfect, you know? Yes. Yes. I want to ask you, please, that you need to help me open my Quran. So when can we do it? I need to do the, ab what is it, ablution? Ablution. When do you want to do it? Uh, as soon as you're ready. When you, you want to do it right do now? It? Sure. Okay. You want to okay. do it? <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm going to do this live. I'm going to show her. I, I'm not going to remove my hijab. Um, so I'm going to like just put my hand like this when I, I, I show like how to do my hair. So hopefully my bathroom isn't so bad because my son destroys it. <laughs> so hold on. Let me just kind of put it to the phone. Okay. So I'm going to start with the water, okay? Thank God. So you have to like pull full one. Oh God, where did you go? Where is she? I have to show her how to make wudu. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Let me remove my gum. Lynn, are you there? Lynn? Oh God, where's Lynn? I don't know what happened. Lynn, are you in here? <laughs> can you comment? So I know you're here. I can just do it for you in front of you or do you want to do it together? Okay, there you are, Lynn. Let me try to bring you live. Well, okay, send me an invite, Lynn, or go in and go out. Oh, you, you're gonna take it just a minute, okay. I have a clip and I just clip this with a pin so it doesn't like go slipping off when I try to there sway it's not gonna come off <laughs> all right so let me know when you're back and then we'll do evolution together so you can open your cron I hope my husband doesn't care that I'm doing this live. <laughs> but she wanted to do this live. I've gotten the crown. Don't get the crown until you're ready now. Oh, it's in plastic wrap. So yeah, you can grab it. You need a sink. You need a sink. <laughs> okay, yeah, we need to get you in live. So I, I can't bring you in. And let, can, you, can you send me a, like a, a request to come live? Maybe you have to go out of the room and come back in. Yeah, it's in plastic, Rev, I know. <laughs> I like, thought about it like, oh wait, it was sent in plastic, so she, she's not touching it yet. But then like after, just make sure like you're always like clean before you take, you touch it. <laughs> you don't, you do evolution first. My phone is charging. Okay, so you're gonna just watch me do it then and you're gonna do it at your house, okay. So like I pull my sleeves up here because I do have to wash all the way down to my elbows, okay? So first, like everything you, you do, you start by saying Bismillah Araman Nirahim, okay? In your mind. I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say that in the bathroom, but I'm teaching. 
Your screen is blocked. Okay. My can 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 you see me? Can you see me? Oh my god, my kids. And they put like stuff down the sink and then it like doesn't drain properly. Okay. You can't see me. Tell me when you can see me. No, you have to be able to see me so you know what I'm doing. Can anyone else hear me? Or can anyone else see me? That's a question. Did I do something to my screen? Can you see me? My phone is coming up. Okay. Oh, you don't have your phone because it's charging. My screen is frozen again. Of course, of course. Okay, how can I fix this? Um, then close these, close these. And turn that off. Turn it back on. That helped me before. Then, okay. My f screen is frozen. Am I still frozen? Um, let me see. No, I don't want that. I need to take that off. Can, can, can you see me now? Is it very bad? Is it bad still? Okay, if I turn it this, like now I'm sideways. Because I started on the wrong way, okay. Oh my goodness. Is it, oh, Muhammad Iftikhar, is it bad now? Is it bad? Can you hear me? Leave me a comment. I can, you know what? Um, so she gave me a, a, a heart and a star. It's still bad. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close off of this. And I'm going to do a fresh live, but I'm going to do it for my page. I don't know, Mohammed Iftikhar, if you want to watch me show her how to do evolution. Um, but uh, my name is listed as Mara Khan, M-A-R-A-K-H-A-N. So um, your screen, phone screen is good. He says it's still bad. So I'm going to just close it off of here. So like then... It'll just, just be evolution. Um, so I'll go ahead and go off of my phone or uh, off of my page. So I will go live from my page. Okay. I'm going to close this off. And so you guys can go over to uh, my Facebook page, Mara Khan, and I will go ahead and go live from there. Okay. Give me an okay, Lynn. <laughs> Can I get an okay? Oh wait, oh wait, approve. Mara, this is the Quran. This is the Quran. This is a Muslim faith. I'm Lynn. I'm Lynn. I'm meeting the, the teens at my house. I'm telling you. Am I clear now? <laughs> They're going on a big birthday. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and try it now. We'll try it now, okay? So you start, you say, Bismillah, Iraman, Rahim. And I get the water going lightly. And I'm going to okay, go ahead and try it now. And I get I water gotta on shut my you. hand. Okay, so you're doing water on your hands? Three times. Three times. Okay, I'm going to go to the sink. Wash my hands. One, okay, hang do one hand. Okay, I'm going to my sink. So you do three times? Yep, on each hand. Then two, yes. Then I'm going to go and I'm going to get some water on my hand and I'm going to put it in my mouth. Okay. Spit it out. Okay. <laughs> You're going to do this three times. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying, really, I'm not. Okay, so then you're gonna Can take I wipe some water. my hands? Can I wipe my hands? No, because you still have to do your face. You gotta do your nose now. Oh, you gotta put water okay. up your nose. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I get water in my hand. All right. And then I put pull it out. 
And yet, we're very slow amount. <laughs> we love you, Muhammad. <laughs> oh, well, Muhammad. So then you're going to get your hands filled with water. Yeah. And you want to get all of your face wet, all of it. So. Okay. Do this three times. This is just like my Buddhist. The this old is Buddhist the Buddhist. Normally yeah. you're not talking during this, but <laughs> my intention is good. So all of your face, you want yes. every part of your face completely wet. I did. I did. I did. No, like, I don't know how to show you this here. Like, I get my whole arm underneath the water. Okay. And then I make sure that all of my hand gets wet three times. Okay. Same one or same one, your right one, and then I do my left. One, two, three. Okay. Everybody watching. Mama oh, knows first time opening the con. So now I got that. So now like, okay. like you're I'm gonna do it over my my hijab so you can see. You get your hands wet and then you're gonna go like to about here with the water. I'm gonna go underneath. Like this, Time. I don't want to show my hair. Then what I do is I kind of go in my ears, clean them behind the back of my ears. And yeah. then like, I take the back of my hands and wipe them on my neck. So I go like this, like that. Then my foot, oh, wash your feet. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. So, and you got to wash them three times. I have to take my shoes off. Yes, yes. <laughs> Okay. Don't get dirty this on your hands though from your shoes. And then you I, I do in between my toes. With my oh left my hand. Goodness, you're kidding. This is like full with you. <laughs> this is like so wild. Then so I go to my wild. left foot. Oh my gosh. And then I go between okay. my toes. Okay, I'm doing with my toes. my left hand. Oh, well no. <laughs> Rinse them. I don't want to slip. Them. Done. I don't want to slip. Cool do. <laughs> I don't want to slip on my floor. Yeah, don't slip. That would be bad. I I have a rug underneath my feet in the I bathroom. So. Okay. Now can really? I wipe? Can I wipe my face or I leave yeah, it wet? You can. You, can. you can wipe it. I leave mine wet, but you can totally wipe it. Okay. Okay, we're done. We did Yay! It. Now you've done with you. Now you can go ahead. What is it called? I just did what? Like in, in Pakistan, they'll call it wazoo. 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 Okay. But it's like, okay. I, I've always I don't want my it. phone to die again. I just remembered I got to plug my phone. Wudu. Okay. W-U-D-U is how I spell it. But in okay. Pakistan, they, they pronounce it wazoo. Okay. So I have my Quran in a case. Oh, you keep it wrapped. Yeah. So let me get a, before I open it, I want to get a cloth. Okay. You don't have to, you don't have to. You just need to make sure like, this is so like, if I need to grab it off the shelf to go to work and I'm not in wazoo, I can grab it. <laughs> well, I'm going to get a cloth. Okay. Okay. Asan, you just missed us doing wazoo. <laughs> This is my Yay. intuition. My intuition is to get a cloth. Let's see if it covers it first. Yeah, this covers. So here's my cloth. Okay. So then, like, you just go ahead and open it. Like, you are completely safe to open it. The, like, you are completely pure. I'm going to pull my sleeves back down now that I've done my kazoo. Wow. So and it's so beautiful. To have it. Marakan. I love you Marakan. guys. I love you guys. I did it. I did it. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, yeah. So then this is a Quran. Now, like typically, if it were like, let me grab my other Quran so you can kind of see that comparatively. Hold on. Let me grab my other one. This one is kind of set up American style. But the other one that I have is more Arabic style. Okay. So let me grab this. 
Wahid, I just did, uh, what, what is it called? What? Wazoo. Wazoo. And I just opened my Quran for the first time. <laughs> okay. I'm so, so glad you're here. So this one is set up like American style. So it opens from the front like we're used to. And it goes in order this way. But if oh. you have like more of an Arabic style one, which I also have. Now this is the. I'm gonna this need is the my cover glasses. Cover that my husband bought me. This is my my Aww. wedding present. This cover. Aww. Nice. So Let me get my me. glasses. Let me get my glasses. Okay, just a minute. Mm -hmm. Let me get my glasses. So. Now this is the Quran for the people that are watching. Remember when I said that I do the the Quran, um, the Quran study, the Quran that she has, this Quran, is the Quran that we are using for the Quran study. So, and I will have her maybe I'll have her read Surah Fatiha. I'm like having my hijab like falling off of me. I feel like I want to put a hijab on. If you want to wear a hijab, wear a hijab. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to switch because this one's kind of heavy. And from that, I'm going to quick hide off the camera while I switch my hijab. So um, okay. I'm going to switch hijabs myself because this is like falling off my head and it's heavy. So hold on. I'm going to go off camera for a sec. <sighs> one second. Uh, Mara helped me learn this. Okay. So, like, one thing that you'll maybe like to get when you're in Pakistan is these little clips. They make things a lot easier because, like, you can just pin the bottom and then flip okay. over your head. See, now okay. it's, like, nice and tight on my head, so it's not going to be falling off. Yeah. Mine's going to be loose, everyone. I'm so... Yes. And in, in the introduction, I can't see what you're sending me, darling. I'm getting a message <laughs> and I can't see it. I am interested. I'm, 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 a, I'm a theologian that believes in all traditions. You have so to now, know. Okay, so this one, see how this is like opens in a normal traditional book way that we're yeah, used to? Uh, yeah, I would now, like to get that one when I go. This is the here. Arabic one. So like, oh, nice. see the binding is on the other side. Nice. So this is opening nice. from like the back to the front in the way that we nice. would do it. Nice. And so like this one has like Arabic and then it has transliteration. So you can like learn how to like say it with Roman letters in Arabic. Beautiful. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this is beautiful. a beautiful Quran. And then it also has the English like words like. Oh, it like, does. Right. So when I yes. was talking, at, when we were studying the New Testament the other day, I was so excited and I asked to uh, Fazal Japanwala to connect me with people because scholars that study um, theological books uh, like Japanwala and myself, we, we study from a very um, ancient script and, and translations are very different. And mm -hmm. so when translations... It's like the Bible. If you translate the Bible from different traditions, it's very different translations. And so the Quran is the same way. So my goal in, in Pakistan is to visit some of the places where some of the books are kept and, and create. Okay. Um, but you know. the one thing about the Quran is there isn't a translation, a true translation of the Quran. So while this is an English translation that we're reading, we don't pray in this. When we pray, we pray in Arabic. So there is no deviation from the origin. Right. Right. So the Quran has always been in Arabic and always will be in Arabic. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. I'm learning about the Quran. And I, you guys all have to know the Muslim tradition. This is all the girls. All the girls are here. Hi, ladies. Hi. They're all going on a camping trip. Have a great so, time, ladies. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
This is Mara. And Mara, I'm opening. Okay. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Janet. Hi, Claudia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm learning about the Quran, so I put on a hijab. This is a, called a hijab. I'm teaching uh, girls are all about. This is fantastic. And she just sent me this book, Quran, because I'm going to be going to Pakistan. And so um, she's teaching me about the Muslim tradition. Isn't that cool? It is. I know. I know. Check it out. Make yourselves at home. Open to page three, and we're going to go just through the opening, uh, okay. which is Surah Fatiha. Page three. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't like, like, reciting in front of people, but, like, I will. No, it's a teaching. It's a teaching moment. Okay, but, like, I, like my, my, my recitation is not perfect, and I don't do it, like, in a reciting voice. I just do it in word voice. So, you guys, like, if I make a mistake, just be patient with me, because I'm also, like, a new Muslim. I'm, I'm just a, con I'm a revert convert. So, like, my, my, it, I'm not very good, okay? So, um, before we start any surah, or before we start anything, before we eat, before we pray, before um, we do wudu, um, before we get in the car, we always say Bismillah Iraman Rahim. Okay? Bismillah Iraman Rahim. Iraman. 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 Nirahim. Irahim. Nirahim. Nirahim. I used to do that. Rahim. Rahim. I used to sing this. As okay. a Sufi, when I did Sufi dances. So, Bismillah, Irakman, Irakim. Yep. So now, oh. Nirakim. With H, Him. Him. Nirakim. Nirakim. Yes. There and, and what that means that um, in the name of God, the most gracious and the most merciful. Amen. Okay, that's what Bismillah Iraman Rahim means. Okay, so I'm going to recite the Surah Fatiha in Arabic, and then I'm going to have you then read it in English. Okay, so okay. I'm going to I'm going to read this one right here in the Arabic one. Yes. Not that I can read it because I I can't read Arabic yet, but I know what it says. And then I'll have you read the English. Okay. okay. This is the okay. very first Surah of the Quran. And um, not only is that, but every time we pray, this we say like, if for every rakah we always do uh, surah fatiha. So we're always oh, saying this at every single time. So like this is like probably the most recited surah in the world. So beautiful, beautiful. Bismillah. Yeah, we used to do it in Rahman Nirahim. I don't think there's a K in it though. It, it, there's no K. Bismillah Rahman Nirahim. Okay, so Bismillah Rahman Nirahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Nirahim. Maliki Yo Medin. Iya kana budu wai kanasta in. Edina serato mustakin. Serato ladina an amta alihim. Hairo magdubi alihim. Wala dalin amin. So that's that's amin. the Arabic part, okay? okay. And I know oh, it's not perfect. Due to God, <laughs> the Lord of the universe, the benefit, no, the start, merciful. Start, start at in the name of God, the most gracious. Oh, in the name of God, the most gracious and most the most merciful. Mm -hmm. All praise is due to God. The Lord of the universe, the benefactor, the merciful, Lord of the day of the judgment, you alone we worship, and to you alone we turn for help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those you have blessed, not of those who have incurred your wrath, nor of those who have gone astray. Amin. Good job. Isn't that great? Beautiful. How do you feel? We we say this. I read before. scripture all every the time. time. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So uh, I'm so excited, Mara. And then so and excited. then and then below, you know, I, 
actual Arabic so I can learn the Arabic on a on an app. So if anybody can I'm starting uh, next Tuesday night. Tuesday night at seven PM my time, so five PM your time on Tuesday evenings. Yeah. I'm doing Arabic lessons. You know, and we're starting with the Arabic alphabet. So even if you're not there to be with me live, then you can watch it whenever, you know. And so that's going to be starting next Tuesday, okay? So yes. like, you can start learning Arabic that way. Because I don't even know Arabic, you know. Well, so. I'm going to read it because I, when I come, uh, I want to read some of the Holy Scripture. So I'm going to be studying really hard for the next six weeks. And, right. Um, and so then like, also that to gain better understanding all this right here written is yes. to explain this a little bit. Okay. Okay. So, and that's on every single page. So this the is red, the, there's the red, verses. Red. And then this is the explanation. Okay. Beautiful. And what do you recommend starting uh, to read? The women, I see the women's section. Should I read the women's section? Where? Uh, I, I, I suggest that you, you definitely read the introduction because okay. that'll kind of give you context as to why was this book written, you know? And then, um, like, I, like, I sent you, like, all the links of the other books. Read the Vision of Islam. Like, like every time, like, I, I read that, I feel so, like, that's, like, the practical part of Islam. Like, and to me, like, the practical, like, is so important too, like to really understand. So, like, like I get like, like uh, when it's about God, it's like, oh, <laughs> I melt. So it's oh, this is what scripture uh, is. Beautiful. Do you call it scripture? Um, we, um, I don't know what we call it. <laughs> Maybe you guys can help me. Like women, uh, women section is Sura Nisa. Sura Nisa. Sura Nisa. There's also a section for uh, Miriam. Mary. Oh, good. Mother Mary. Oh, yes. And Jonah, Taha. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. Abraham. So, well, what are like the heifer, Al Bakara, the second, the second one is kind of talking about like, um, um, uh, not, not Ibrahim, but, um, like, like there is one on Ibrahim. Um, but like, I think it's on, 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 Mo no. Who's the one that like, where, where the cow came, the, the cow, like, um, in the Bible, I Thank can't you. think of like my prophets, like for idol worshiping, like they were like worshiping the cow, the golden cow. Oh, she froze. My son called me, sorry. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Like, which, I'm which, to which book of the Bible uh, was it about, like, the idol worship of the, the golden cow? Jews, cow, divorce. Let's see. What are they saying? You call no, In the Bible. In the Bible. What, what? Remember, like, there's a part of the book of the Bible that was, like, where they were, like, worshiping a golden cow. Remember? Oh, the Tower of, um, yeah. I won't know where it is. I don't know the, you know, it's just the learning. This is where I'm in school. So, know. okay. I should so, know this. I should but know I, too, like, and I do know, I'll know it because I have to test. I have to test. But like, that's what the heifer the is system. kind of about. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it goes into that. But like, it, it, and there's lots of repetition in the Quran. You'll 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 come to find that, and and it's so beautiful. Like, really, it, it's, yeah, it's. I know. It's really it's wonderful. Beautiful. I love the cover. I think it's really beautiful. I was so excited. So I'm so grateful. Yeah. You want so, to read any more? Well, like Surah Bakara is like <laughs> like a couple hundred pages. <laughs> so, um, do you? Let's see. What, Since it's Mother's Day, I think we reading about the mother. The first. Oh, page I know that it's the second Surah is is the heifer one. Um, but which one should? Wh which one do you recommend that we have her read? Like the ones at the end are like ones that people recite a lot, and they're short. You know, they're like one page so can 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 i get a recommendation from my audience to tell us which sir we should read that's not real real long or a couple of them that we could read oh so wait, a sura wait. is a section i mean what is your favorite sura 
I can't remember the name of it. I mean, are you there? Is he in the room? He's not in here. Shoot. Um, Surah Yasin. The Surah Yasin is the heart of the... So yeah, let's Surah. do that one. And where is it? I'm going to look it up. Hold on. So in the very beginning, you'll see all the different surahs, okay? Okay. Um, and okay. I think Surah Yasin is kind of in the center, if I remember correctly. Oh, good. They're all here. Oh, I'll talk room. Yasin, Yasin. Okay, Yasin is on page 1316. 1316. Okay. Great. Wait, no, is it? Yes, it is. 1316. In the name but of this God. This is thunder. Wait, 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 no. No. Are you in the wrong book? Are you on this? I am. But like mine this is, is the there. beginning of the surah. Yeah, mine is. See the Yasin. Why is it saying? 1,300. Oh. <laughs> I was about on the right page. I was on the very wrong page. 1,316. So we're only going to read it in English because I don't know how to recite this. So um, you want to well, go going you want to read first recite. or do you want to read first? I'll read one more time. Okay. Are we gonna? Okay. Uh, I'll do the first uh, up until. Oh, actually, yes. you can say in the name of God. Seven. In seven, I'll go to seven. Yasin, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful. Yasin, by the Quran, full of wisdom, you are indeed one of the messengers on the straight path with a revelation sent down by the mighty one, the merciful so that you may be war may warn a people whose fathers were not warned, and so they are unaware. All right. And so, the word has been proved true against the greater part of them. They will not believe. Yet, we have put yokes around their necks, right up to their chins, so they cannot bow their heads. And we have set a barrier before them, and a barrier behind them. And we have covered them up so that they cannot see. It makes no difference to them whether you warn them or do not warn them. They will not believe. You can warn only those who would follow the reminder and fear of the gracious God unseen. Give them the good news of forgiveness and a noble award, reward. We shall surely bring back the dead back to life and we record what they send ahead and what they leave behind. We have recorded everything in a clear book. Go to the next page. Recount to them the example of the people to, those, to whose town our messengers came. When we sent them two messengers, they rejected them both. So we strengthened them with the third. They said, truly, we have been sent to you by God as messengers. They replied, you are nothing but mortal men like us, and the merciful God has not revealed anything. You are surely lying. They said, our Lord knows that we have been sent to you and our duty is only to convey the message to you clearly but they answered we see an evil omen in you if you do not stop we shall certainly stone you and you will suffer a painful punishment at our hands they said your evil angry anger augury be with you it is because you are admonished about the truth surely you are the people transgressing by bounds all right then from the furthest part of the city, a man came running. He said, my people, follow the messengers. Follow those who ask no recompense of you and are rightly guided. Why should I not worship him who has brought me into being and to whom you shall all be recalled? Shall I take others beside him of, as gods? If the gracious God should intend me any harm, their intercessions will be of no avail nor can they deliver me. In that case, I should indeed be in manifest error. Indeed, I have believed in your Lord, so listen to me. We said to him, enter paradise. And he exclaimed, would that my people know how my Lord has forgot forgiven me and placed me among the honored ones. 
After him, we did not send down against his people a host from heaven, nor do we send down such hosts. It was but one great blast, and they fell down lifeless. Alas for human beings. They ridicule every messenger that comes to them. Do they not see how many generations we have destroyed before them? Never shall they return to them. All of them gathered together will certainly be brought before us. There is a sign for them in the lifeless earth. We revive it and we produce grain from it, of which they eat. We have placed it in gardens of date palms and vines and caused springs to gush forth from it, so that they may eat of its fruits, though it was not given hands that made this. Will they not then be grateful? Holy is he who created all things in pairs, of what the earth grows, and of themselves and other things which they do not know. They have a sign in the night. We withdraw from it the light of the day, and they are left in darkness. The sun, too, follows its determined course laid down for it by the Almighty, the All-Knowing. We have ordained phases for the moon until finally it becomes like an old date stock. The sun cannot overtake the moon, nor can the night outpace the day. Each floats in its own orbit. Another sign for them is what, that we carried their offspring in the laden ark. We have created for them the like of it in which they ride. If it were our will, we could drown them. Then they would, <clears throat> there would be no helper to hear their cry, nor could they be saved. It is only by our mercy that they are granted provision for a time. When they are told, guard yourselves against what is before you and what is behind you, in order that you may be shown mercy, they turn away. Indeed, not one of your Lord's signs comes to them without them their turning from it. And when they are told, give to others out of what God has provided for you, those who are bent or uh, denying the truth say to the believers, why should we feed those whom God could feed if he wanted? You are clearly in error. They say, when will this promise be fulfilled if you are truthful? They must be waiting for but one single blast, which will overtake them while they are still disputing. They will have no time to make a will, nor shall they return to their own people. The trumpet will be blown, and at once they will rise up from their graves and hasten to their Lord, who betide us, woe betide us. They will say, who has aroused us from our sleep? This is what the Lord mercy promised. The messengers spoke the truth. It will be but one blast, and they, they will be brought before us together. On that day, no, no soul shall suffer the least injustice. You shall be rewarded only according to your deeds. The people of paradise shall be happily occupied on that day. They and their wives shall recline on the couches in the shade. They shall have fruits therein, and all they ask for. Peace shall be the greetings from the merciful Lord. And God will say, separate yourselves from the righteous this day, you criminals. Did I not enjoin you, sons of Adam, not to worship Satan? For he is your sworn enemy, but to worship me. Surely that is the straight path. Yet he led astray a great multitude of you. Why did you not then understand? This is the hell you were promised. Enter it this day on account of your denial of the truth. Today we shall seal up their mouths and their hands will speak to us and their feet will bear witness to their misdeeds. If it has been our will, we could have put out their eyes. They would have struggled to find the way, but how could they have seen it? If it had been our will, we could have paralyzed them where they stood so that they would not be able to go forward or turn back. If we extended anyone's life, we reversed his development. Can they not use their reason? We have not taught him any poetry, nor would it be fitting for him. This is merely a reminder and a clear, and, and a clear Quran to warn all of those, to warn all who are truly alive and to justify the word. God's verdict against the deniers. 
Do they not see that among the things which our hands have fashioned, we have created for them cattle of which they are the masters? We have subjected these to them so that some may be used for riding and some for food, some for milk to drink and some from which others may be received. Will they not be grateful? They have set up other gods besides God, hoping to be helped by them, but they are not able to help them. Rather, they will be brought before God as they allied host. Let not their words grieve you. We have knowledge of all that they conceal and all that they reveal. Does not man see that we created him from a drop? Yet there is flagrantly contentious, producing arguments against us and forgetting his own creation. He asks, who can give life back to the bones after they have rotted away? Say, he who brought them into being in the first instance will give them life again. He has knowledge of every type of creation. He who produces fire for you from green trees and from this your kindle fire. He, it is, is he who created the heavens and the earth, not able to create others like these people. Of course he is. He is indeed the supreme creator of all knowing. When he decrees a thing, he need only say it, be, and it is. So glory be to him who has control over all things. It is him that you will all be brought back. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <That's> mean. <laughs> I mean. I get like emotional. <laughs> I don't mean to. <laughs> Thanks be to God. <laughs> that is beautiful. 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 Yeah, so, so no, simple. Okay, so Bible. that is so a similar. surah. So mm -hmm. like like if you read just one verse, that would be called an ayah. But a surah is like like a complete thing. So and you can read a surah in kind of any whichever order. But a surah is complete. So, like, that's a whole complete surah. So, um, like, it's good to know that. So, like, like when you read in a different surah. section, a different surah, you can't apply necessarily what's in one surah and, 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 and put it into another surah because it's perfectly complete as one surah. And then a different surah is a completely different surah. Just so you you know, you know. Sure. That makes sense. Okay. It's it's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I got to do it. Yay! And now, what about this book? Okay, so that is the book. That's the prophet book that I was talking about. And like that one, we're just like reading like a chapter per week. Okay. And that is about the prophet. But there's also an online book called The Vision of Islam. And I really want you to read that one because that's like the practical information. And that one to me, like, is so spiritually uplifting and stuff. Um, like understanding like what the Quran says is also important, you know, because like this is like your spiritual self, you know, um, practical self, like I think helps us to be in a place that we can take in all that this has to offer. So mm -hmm. like when we're doing our prayers and when we are like um, reading Quran, you know, um, or like, like some people will recite Quran, like they'll, they'll, they'll be reciting it in another language, but not like reading it in their own. Um, and, and so that's why I'm trying to learn it in my own language. So I have like, I feel like I'll connect better to it. Um, yeah. And like other things like, like fasting or doing charity. Um, those are things that are like important. Those are like our practical things and stuff. Um, also read about biography of the Holy. That, yes i brought, a, I brought a couple of books uh, i'm at a theological seminary where there's a school of islam so next fall i'll be taking islam classes and but that green um, book also is a book about the prophet peace be upon him yes okay okay um so i'm excited to to really develop some relationships um before i come so I can understand better. Yes. Inshallah. Mm -hmm. Inshallah. When I come to the the mosques and I come, I can come in the dignity of of Muhammad. Yes. Right. Peace be upon oh. him. You know, like, like, like I to me, like all prophets are like perfect. You know, like they were chosen uniquely and specially for like their ummah. You know, uh, ummah being like their followers. You know. And, and so, like, some will say, you know, that 
the prophet Muhammad peace be upon him is the only like super most important one you know but mm -hmm. to me like they're all equal you know because like they got people to where they needed to be you know like without Adam like he's a pretty important prophet right without Adam nobody would have come into existence beyond him you know so or like, Eve pretty, or Eve yeah exactly so um, I, that's like, what I'm interested in and what I'm studying here at my theological school, and a lot of us are really questioning it. We're questioning where the women were because the women are a very big part of the stories. And Rabia, I'm very, I, I studied some Rabia, um, Rabia the poet, and I think there were many women prophets that kept out, were kept out because of the patriarchal understanding. And so for me, there's a real need to bring some of the women's voices back to you know, to this relationship and the relatedness of all of our scriptures, all of our scriptures, like there's going so deep. many powerful women of Islam, mm -hmm. you know, like mm -hmm. lots of great stories, you know, of different, really amazing women. Um, and, and like, look at Hagar, you know, like Hagar, the wife of, um, mm -hmm. Hitler, you know, yes. like, and, and, and that's what like our, our whole, uh, when we go for Umar or Hajj, it's based upon like her life her 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 history when when she was banished to the desert because of uh sarah you know um then like like she had to like run she was running between the mountains you know and so like that's essentially what we're recreating when we do our hajj you know so yeah that's good to know that's good to know because i'm trying to really open to what next you know when is the ramadan start when does it... i believe on the 15th here in america okay i'm going to a big ceremony interfaith community ceremony for the start of ramadan oh so, fantastic so it's just yeah. next week yeah next so. wednesday next wednesday i think so i will be going for sure and so this is exciting one day you should try fasting no it's i'm going to long fast i'm gonna do huh? more than that I'm going to do the whole Ramadan, I think. You're going to fast my... the whole Ramadan? It's like 17 hours, darling. <laughs> it's time it's to like... go. Okay. So, like, make sure that you set your alarm clock for, like, 2.45 in the morning. So you get up and you can finish, like, eating by, like, 3.30, you know, and brush your teeth before then. And then you can go back to sleep, you know. And then... um like, I think, like, you don't get to eat again until, like, 8 o'clock or 8.30 at night. Mm -hmm. So. That's okay. I can't fast. I have, like, like my doctor says I can go fine without food, but he says, like, um, because I have kidney problem. Like, not, like, like, like kidney problem, like, they don't process, like, water. It's the kidney problem that I have to keep flushing them because um, bacteria gets built up, and then I get, like, a really difficult to treat infection. Um, so I get pyelonephritis. So like I take prophylactic antibiotics all the time. So <laughs> for the rest hmm. of my life because of it. Hmm. So, I, I got it two that. times in one year. We have to so, talk. And then I was on IV antibiotics for six months. This is where my health consults came. I want to help look at. <laughs> we'll have to so. take. But anyway, this is great. This is fun. I want to get going on my paper. Mara, you can fast, just changed your thinking. <laughs> okay, but okay, like, like, but literally, you, like, if you understood how sick I was, you have to I understand also have to obey my doctor. Yeah, medical traditions uh, always have to come from a traditional understanding. But thank you, I understand what you're saying, Asad Yusuf. Yeah, we all can try spiritually to align ourselves. The society and what we live and how we live, I think, makes us at risk for trying to be too realistic or idealistic, I should say. And if we get too idealistic, we are not coming from God. This is not, this is more from the mind instead of the heart. And Mara will know. So, um, I'm feeling really good, really at peace, really calm. <laughs> How are you feeling? Really good. Yeah, feels good. Feels good. We did good. Whenever we read any type of scripture, I feel good. and do it every day. I, I read sacred books every day. I'm so blessed. This is why I'm here, because this is what I do. You know, it mm -hmm. makes me internalize my work. And uh, to know that the people of uh, Islam 
are so deeply connected to God. This is a very sacred thing for me. Yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, it's very important to me. Um, aside, like my my illness won't like go away. Like it's like I'm at risk. So like, I take I'll take antibiotics for the rest of my life. Aside, um, and and the doctor does like. It's a, like I take the antibiotic at night, so that way, like I have antibiotic throughout the night within my bladder, so I don't end up allowing any bacteria to climb up my ureters. Um, but to like try to, um, I, I have to be able to flush them throughout the day, and like with a seventeen and a half hour fast, even a twelve hour fast, it would be too long. You know, I sleep like six to seven hours, and that's why I have the antibiotic in my bladder. So um, it's not something that I should probably be talking on live about, though. <laughs> so anyway. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the uh, moderate and I both are nurses, so we know these things from an intellectual level. So it's not from, yeah, more her intellect is very knowledgeable. So I think this is a key thing as a nurse. So um, thank you, Mara. Thank you, Mara. You're very welcome. Yeah, I had, a, I had a pick line for six months, and I had to go to the hospital every single day. Every day I had to drive to the hospital, so I couldn't even leave my town. Like, I couldn't, like, go, like, uh, for Christmas to my mom's house because um, it was all I was on this pick line, you know? Uh -huh. And, like, I didn't have coverage at the hospitals by her house to go to the thing, so. Oh, my gosh, is my daughter here? Oh, I think I'm going to have to get off of here because I yeah, think, I've um, got to go. I love you all. God bless you. Love you too. Oh, my son, okay. I think was getting her. All right. We'll talk to everybody later. Thank you all for joining us. It was a Bye. wonderful, wonderful spiritual time. And we well, taught her yeah. how to make wazoo. We um, read the Surah Yasin. We read Surah Fatiha. So it's a good day. It's a good day. <laughs> all right. Love you, Lynn. Love you. I love you. All right. Salam alaikum. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye. <laughs>